Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. But then, one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. And when he dismissed her again, the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late. For she had seen that there was no love in his heart. As punishment, she transformed him into a hideous beast and placed a powerful spell on the castle and all who lived there. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, by the time the last petal fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
the shot, Gaston. You're the greatest hunter in the whole world. I know. No beast alive stands a chance against you. And no girl, for that matter. It's true, LeFou. And I've got my sights set on that one. The inventor's daughter? She's the one. The lucky girl I'm going to marry. But she's... The most beautiful girl in the whole town. Well, I know, but... That makes her the best. And don't I deserve the best? Well, of course you do! Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Here in town there's only she who was beautiful as me, so I'm making plans to and Mary Bell. Doesn't quite fit in. But she really is a funny girl. A beauty, but a funny girl. She really is a funny girl.
My daughter? Aunt? <laughs> now where would you get an idea like that? I don't know. It's just that, well, people talk. They talk about me, too. No matter what you do, I'm on your side. And if my point of view is somewhat misty-eyed, there's nothing clearer in my life than what I wish and feel for you. And that's a lot. No matter what they say, you make me proud. I love the funny way you stand out from the ground. It's my intention, my invention, shows the world out there one day. Now some may say all fathers just exaggerate. I lost my way in the woods, and I need a place to stay 
for the night. Poor fellow. Oh, God, were that a heart. Monsieur, you are welcome here. I heard that. I know there's someone here, and I'll thank you kindly. Step out where I can see you. I don't know. Oh! And goodbye. Wait, you're a clock, and you're talking. Astonishing, isn't it? And quite inexplicable. Goodbye. God's work. I'm surprised at you. Where are your manners? We've got to get him out of here. This is incredible. How is this accomplished? Really, sir, if you... Oh, stop it. Stop that. Really, sir, do you mind? Well, I'm stumped. It must be some kind of newfangled scientific gadget. I, sir, am not a gadget. Oh, I beg your pardon. I don't mean to be rude. It's just that I've never seen a top. A top. A top. Bless you. You are chilled to the bone, monsieur. Come, sit down. No, I forbid it. Lumiere, as head of this household, I demand that you stop right the. Oh, not the master's chair. I'm not seeing this. I'm not seeing this. Oh, la, la. What do we have here? Try eyes to see me, or is this a man? It's been so long since I've seen a real man. No offense to me. Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh, well. Hello. All right, this is our partner. I'm in charge here, and... Oh, yes. Yes. Always. 
Good. Well, I suppose if we're going to have the wedding, I guess I'd better propose to the bride. <laughs> Run along now. <laughs> Belle, oh Belle, anyone home? Gaston, what a pleasant surprise. Isn't it though? I'm just full of surprises for you, mademoiselle. A miniature portrait of you. Don't mention it, Belle. You know, there isn't a girl in the whole town who wouldn't just love to be in your shoes. This is the day all your dreams come true. How could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty. You've been dreaming just one dream nearly all your life. Open scheming, just one theme. Will you be a wife? Will you be some he man's property? Good news that he man's me. This equation, girl plus man, doesn't just help you. On occasion, woman can have their uses too. Mainly to extend the family tree. Pumpkin, extend the tree. We raise some sons galore. Each one six foot four. Each one stuffed with every guest on G. You'll be keeping house with pride. Each day gratified that you are part of the side. This, a rustic hunting lodge, my little school roasting on the fire, my little wife massaging my feet, while the little ones play on the floor with the dogs. Oh, we'll have six or seven. Dogs? No, Belle, strapping boys like me. I can see that we will share all that love implies. We shall be the perfect pair, rather like my cousin. Face to face with destiny. All roads lead to the best things in life. Are all swell that ends with me. Strike me, there's no way certain that no rain will win you man. So, Belle, what will it be? Is it yes or is it? Oh, yes. I just don't deserve you. Who does? Didn't we? 
serve him tea. Let him sit in the master's chair. I was trying to be hospitable. Rubbish. Ah, Cogsworth. Can you blame me for trying to maintain what's left of our humanity? Look at us. Look at you. What's about me? You always were insufferable. But every day you become a little more inflexible. A little more tightly wound. A little more ticked off. <laughs> Please, spare me your stupid puns. Hello? Is anyone here? It's a girl. Yes, Hello? of course, I can see it's a girl. Anyone? It's, it's a, a girl. girl. Mademoiselle! No, Lumiere, let me do all the talking. You who? As head of this household, I should do most of the talking. Jenny! A word, just a word. Mama, you're never going to believe what I saw. Not in a million thousand years. Yes, dear. No, really. It's the greatest thing. It's the thing everybody's been waiting for since... since... Since I don't know when. All right, Chick. What is it? There's a girl in the castle. Yes, my soul. Wouldn't that be lovely? But there is. I saw her. Now, Chick, I'll not have you making up wild stories and getting everyone's hopes up for no reason. <laughs> Mrs. Wood, did you hear? There's a girl in the castle. See? I told you. And she's real pretty, too. Well, I don't know about that. This is the one, the girl we've all been waiting for. She's come to break the spell. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's not be hasty. Isn't it wonderful? After all these years, oh happy, happy day. Stop it, stop that. We should tell the others, no? Yes, I mean, no, I mean, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hello? Is anyone here? Please, I'm looking for my father. Bill? Is that you? Papa! I'm here. How would you find me? Your hands are like ice. <coughs> we have to get you out of here. Bill, you must leave this place. <laughs> Who's done this to you? There's no time to explain. You must go. Now. I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle.
you follow me. This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like. Except the West Wing. Why? What? It's forbidden! Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes! This is your room. I, I hope you'll be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend to you. And, and one more thing. You will join me for dinner. That is not a request.
messed off, dismissed, rejected, publicly humiliated. It's more than I can bear. More beer? What more? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Will you never gas on? You've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it deserves me to see you gas on. Looking so down in the dumps. <laughs> Every guy here loves to be you gas on. Even when taking your lumps. There's no man in town, is it my it is you? You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's odd and inspired by you. And it's not very hard to see why. <laughs> no one's slick is guessed on, no one's quick is guessed on, no one's next as incredibly thick is guessed on. There's no A pure paragon. You can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they'd prefer to be on. No. What you want in the end? Oh, 
So it appears. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my boy's laughter as he runs through these walls again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumiere, stand watch at the door. And if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. We oui, mon capitaine. I ask her nicely, but she refuses. What does she want me to do, beg? Show me the girl. I know the master can be temperamental, but underneath all that bad fur, he's not such a bad fellow. Why don't you just give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no. But once you get to know him, I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm just kidding myself. She'll never see me as anything but a monster. <laughs> Little 
It was you, wasn't it? I figured it out for myself. I'd like to look around if that's all right. Perhaps you would like a tour. I, I'm not so sure that's such a good idea. We can't have you know who go poking around you know where, if you know what I mean. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Well, actually, I do. May I draw your attention to our hand-painted ceiling? Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. This will be good. Belle! Belle! And if you will note the unusual inverted archways, this is yet another example of the late neoclassic Baroque period. And as I always say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it! <laughs> oh, it's all oh, so beautiful! Oh. I had no idea. If only he weren't here. Act like a gentleman. I'm nothing but a fool! What's up there? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, nothing of any sort of interest in the West Wing. Ah, so that's the West Wing. Nice going! I wonder what he's hiding up there. Hiding? What an idea! Hiding! <laughs> then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Uh, perhaps Mademoiselle would like to see something else. We have exquisite tapestries dating all the way back to a Lucius the Pretentious. Maybe later. Uh, perhaps you would like to see the gardens or, or, or the library. You have a library? With books? Oh yes, scads of books. Forests of books, mountains of books, cascades. Books with pictures. Books with words. More words than you could ever read in a lifetime. Books on every subject of every author who ever said pen to papier. What are you doing here? I'm... I thought I told you never to come here. I know, but... Do you realize what you could have done? No. Get out! No. Don't touch me!
had it run away, but this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I couldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. Tell you on your 
Monsieur Doc. Thank you for coming on such short notice. I don't usually leave the asylum in the middle of the night. This fellow said, you'd make it worth my while. Look, I've got my heart set on marrying Belle. But she needs a little persuasion. Turned him down flat. It's like this. See. Just as sure as the sun will rise. 
know what happened. The last thing I remember, I was falling. <laughs> you were in the woods, Papa. I thought I'd never find you. But the beast, how did you escape? I didn't escape. He let me go. He let you go? That terrible beast? He's not terrible. In the beginning, I was so frightened. I thought it was the end of everything. But somehow, things changed. How? I don't know. But I see him differently now. It's funny. When I look around, I see the whole world differently. If you'll marry me. What? 
One little word, Bill. That's all it takes. Oh, never! Fine! Have it your way! Take the old man! Let go of me! Bill! Wait! I can prove my father's not crazy! Show me the beast! <gasps> That's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh, no! He'd never hurt anyone! I know he looks frightful, but he's really kind and gentle! He's my friend! If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have feelings for this monster! He's not the monster Gaston, you are! She's as crazy as the old man! She says this creature is her friend? Well, I've hunted wild beasts before, and I've seen what they can do! The beast will make off with your children! He'll come after them in the middle of the night! He would never do that! Forget the old man! I say we kill the beast! Yeah! Yeah! Kill the beast! Through the mist, through the woods, through the darkness and the shadows, it's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. Say a prayer, then we're there at the drawbridge of the castle, and there's something truly terrible inside. It's a beast, he's a fight, he's great to shock.
You came back. Take my hands. You came back. Of course I came back. I couldn't let them. If only I'd come sooner. Maybe, maybe it's better this way. Don't talk like that. Everything will be fine. At least I got to see you. One last. Say the 